Welcome back to the Wild Vegan Flower. Today we're going to be making some vegan beef broth, or some beefy broth. Uh, the process is very, very simple. We're just going to be chopping up our aromatics, sauteing them in a really rich like red wine sauce with lots of shiitake mushrooms. What we're going for here is a lot of depth. We want a lot of oomph and body in this. We want like an iron rich broth that really gives you that beefy flavor. This is going to be absolutely perfect for things like homemade pho or if you need like a good simmer broth if you're making homemade seitan steaks or maybe you want to make a vegan beef stew. There's a lot of uses for this fabulous um, broth. This is a staple recipe. Make sure that you save it. Um, let's get started. Now, to get started, you're going to want to take some dried shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to do about 10 of them, and then you're just going to soak them in water overnight. If you didn't do that, just let them soak for as long as you can beforehand. This really just helps get all the juices out, get all the, most of the flavor. A tip to get these is just order them online. Um, I was able to get a ton of these for really inexpensive. Um, it's way cheaper to just get them dried instead of just using fresh ones and the dried ones have way more flavor when it comes to like making like broths and gravies and stuff. Roughly chop up your onions into quarters, same thing with your carrots and the celery. Just crush the garlic. You don't even need to chop it. This is so that way the vegetables don't break down when they're going to be all cooked together. We want everything to be pretty intact. You can saute your vegetables in an instant pot or you can do it over the stove. Since I'm using my instant pot, I am setting the saute function for 30 minutes because that is about how long we're going to be cooking all the vegetables. Otherwise, do all the same steps with like coating the pan with oil over the stove top if you're going to be doing it that way and we're going to be caramelizing it until it's very dark brown. Now that everything's like super caramelized, it gets like pretty brown. It kind of looks burnt on the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to add some of this red wine. I'm using a Pinot Noir. Um, look up and make sure that your wine is vegan. Um, the website I use is called barnivore.com. Sometimes wines have like gelatins and stuff in it. We measuring out half a cup. The red wine is going to reduce into a sticky syrup very quickly within a matter of a couple of minutes. Then you're going to be adding all of your other spices. You have frozen beet stems. Add them now. I like to add them just because I like to use the whole beet and it's a good way to be zero waste and it adds a really nice color and flavor to it. But like I said, it's totally optional. And then your additional cups of water and then you're going to be covering it and letting that cook for at least one hour before you strain it. And once it's strained, it's ready to go. If you enjoyed this beet broth recipe, be sure to like it and to subscribe to see more plant-based recipes.